Well, welcome to my Taylor Glass Digital Scale Review. This is Richie from This Is Real Life. And under the pandemic, me and my wife have gone out, we've bought a new Nordic Track cycling machine in order to get fit, lose a bit of weight on it, but how much weight, we're not sure. So when we were passing through Costco the other day, we purchased this Taylor Glass Digital Scale only $11.99 on special. It's only about $16 normally on there, but it's too good a bargain to miss. But what is there to like about this? Well, I thought it was just an ordinary bathroom scale, albeit with a 500 pound capacity. Nice carbon fiber finish to it, but then I noticed this feature, the up and down weight tracking. So what's that about, Richie? Well, it turns out that the Taylor scale has got automatic weight recognition for two people. So it automatically recalls the user profile after one easy time setup, which I'll cover as I unbox this. It records your previous weight, your current weight, and your weight difference. So you can see any gains or losses simply by standing on the scale. So that does intrigue me a bit. As I say, 500 pound capacity, 0.2 of a pound increments on the scale and step on technology to turn it on. Speaking of which, let's get it out of the box and do exactly that. Now it says it comes with a full set of instructions. Now I know what you're thinking, instructions, surely you just stand on it, but I have a feeling we're gonna need to do a little bit of setup for that memory function. And also be careful not to throw the batteries away with the packaging. Well, first of all, as bathroom scales go, this thing does actually look quite sexy in this carbon fibre finish. As much as any bathroom scale can be classed as sexy, it's probably about two centimetres deep on there. Appears to be pretty well made. The three AAA batteries supplied with it go in the back here. And as I'm putting the batteries in, I notice there's also a button here marked kilos, pounds and stone on that. Anyway, with the batteries in, Time to read the instructions and turn it on. And I would point out, it's nice it comes with the battery so you can get straight to work. On the instructions, it says, after you've installed the batteries, place the scale on a hard flat surface before your first reading, calibrate by stepping on your scale until it turns on, then step off. Anytime you move the scale, you should also recalibrate it again. It also says for consistency, weigh in at the same time each day and wear similar clothing. Or as it actually says in the instructions, go naked on the thing which is not going to be happening in this video. I've got a fairly comprehensive instruction manual with instructions in Spanish, French and English. Okay, well the Taylor scale turns on simply by stepping on it. So I'm going to demonstrate that and talk you through the display. Then I'm going to put it on the floor with the camera on it and show you the weight tracking operation and how to set it up for two people. Okay, when it comes to turning our scale on, all we've got to do is put some weight on it so we're standing on it, which you shall do in a minute. The display turns on. If you leave it for more than a few seconds with nothing on it, it will actually turn itself back off again. The display is set in pounds at the minute on here. If you want to change that, we're going to press this switch on the back. That set will it into stone in there. So you could have say 12 stone, six, 12 stone, 10 pounds, etc. Press it again. All I'm doing now is pressing the button on the back here and you set it into kilos. Let's put it, press it again and put it into pounds on there. So I'm, all I'm doing to change that over is to press this button mark kilos, pounds and stones on the back. Okay, well with the scale weight set in pounds, all we've got to do to turn it on, stand on it, wait until it flashes, until it says step up down, or step off rather. We'll now see the light flashing for P1 or P2. This is how you set up the two different people on the scale. Using the button on here, so I'm gonna wait till it flashes to P1, press that, that's setting me as P1. When my wife gets on, weighs herself, I'm gonna set her up as P2. Simple as that in order to set the two people on here. Now it should recognize me the next time I step back on. Wait until it flashes, until it says step off, and it shows me as P1 on there. Previous, weight's obviously gonna be unchanged on there. Weight difference is zero pounds in this particular instance on there. As a lister, I've just got back on the scale and it keeps rotating between them. Previous and difference on there. Previous weight shown again, so it's rotating between the two of them. But it's nice and easy to set up. I'm liking that fact that it will tell me automatically how much weight I've lost since the last time I was weighed. And to set that up for a second person, just going to demonstrate just with one foot on here. Okay, it's asking me to step off and it's now going to switch between P1 and P2 on there. I'm going to splash on P2 to set it to the second person. All you've got to do is press the button on the top. Well, thumbs up if you like this video, guys. Post any comments you might have in the comment section below the video and hit the circle below to subscribe. And if you do hit the circle, don't forget to hit the bell.